In today's video, I'll be reviewing Cortex, a blockchain project looking to revolutionise smart contract technology. Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today guys we're going to be looking at Cortex. Now Cortex are a blockchain based startup. I don't believe they have an ICO but they are already up and launched and they're live on the coin market cap as well. So today I just wanted to review this project, give you guys my thoughts on it and talk you through some of the unique features. Now from a glance a lot of people see AI on the blockchain and they get steered away from these kind of ICOs as there have been a lot of scam ICOs out there promoting AI and talking about how they've implemented it into their project. However, Cortex are a solid project and I'm gonna talk about how they're using AI specifically throughout their project to develop smart contract technology. So it's pretty unique and if we do move down here into the consensus criteria, essentially Cortex's main mission is to provide state-of-the-art machine learning models on the blockchain in which users can infer using smart contracts on the Cortex blockchain. So one of the main goals is to include implementing a machine learning platform that actually allows users to post tasks on the platform and submit AI dApps, which are artificial intelligence decentralized applications. So it's pretty cool. They're combining the worlds of dApps and artificial intelligence, doing it through their own blockchain, and it's quite unique. So. Two of the main features here are the smart AI contracts and the Cortex virtual machine. So I'll try and elaborate on them a little bit more as well. You can see a bit of an overview on the different consensus criteria here, um, as well as the framework for the model submission and the intelligent inference framework. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, you guys can go and check that out in a bit more detail. We will move into the team just quickly before I get into covering the white paper and some of the more technical aspects of the project. But essentially, this team is quite small at around six members uh, with the addition of some community developers and obviously your advisors. Uh, it was good to see here that the team has their LinkedIn profiles available. So I did go and check out the CEO, Zeke, here. Um, and everything is looking pretty good. He's been involved with a few different startups, which is good to see. And what I found is a lot of this team is very academic. So as you can see, they've got quite a lot of academic qualifications, civil engineering, aerospace engineering, computer science, and things like that. So definitely a very academic team, which is good to see. Um, it's good to have a lot of knowledge behind these people and know that they're really trying to work on something new and intuitive here. Um, in terms of the community developers, no LinkedIn profiles available for these guys, but we do have AI experts and research scientists in here. So because this project is so strongly based around AI, we do see a lot of members focusing on this space. And in terms of the advisors, there are some pretty special advisors here as well, although only one LinkedIn profile on Jia here, who is an investor of Bitfinex and an LP of Bitfund as well. So here's the chief scientist advisor. Um, we also have a couple of technical and strategic advisors. So you guys can go and check that out and try to do a little bit more research on them. In terms of partnerships, their main partnerships here are with different universities. So we have the University of California, the University of Shanghai, and another one there which I can't quite pronounce for you guys. And in the investors, we have some big names here guys, including Bitmain, Huobi Capital, um, node capital as well. So it's good to see a lot of people endorsing this project and really getting involved and supporting Cortex Labs as well. So overall, I'm pretty happy with that. In terms of the actual website design itself, it's not super advanced. I would have liked to see things a bit nicer. It's not one of the nicest ones I've seen. However, they do keep it nice and straightforward, which is good to see. And obviously, if they haven't incorporated an ICO, then there's going to be a little bit less detail. I will give you a little bit of the specs on the tokenomics since this thing already is out there and being traded. So the total supply is around 300 million with approximately half the supply circulating at the moment at around 149 million. So that's nice and low, it's not too excessive and they are currently ranked 82 on the coin market cap. So that's doing pretty well for such a new project. As you guys can see, the charts are on all time here and they've only pretty much been around since the start of this month and since then their price has almost doubled so it's looking pretty good as you can see it's available on a few exchanges the main one being Huobi there and they are looking to add to a few more exchanges in the future 
This is a good little section of their site here. So if you head over to the POC demo, you'll see a little bit of an example of how they would use these AI enforced smart contracts. So it's pretty awesome. They use an example of an open source database of birds and how you'll actually be rewarded when you upload a valid bird photo. The AI model will essentially be able to predict whether there are any species of a particular bird within a photo. So obviously smart contracts are very powerful on their own and with the advancements of artificial intelligence and machine learning you can really take these things to the next level and we're going to see this in a lot more startups in the future guys. It really is revolutionary and it's taking things to new heights so that's very good to see. Uh, we will step into the white paper here. So it's a very old and styled white paper. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of these kind. Um, they can be a bit hard to swallow at times. There's a lot of information here. This is 44 pages, so I'll do my best to try and cover the important things. I'm just going to skim through, see what I can find for you guys. The introductory section is essentially just a lot of disclaimers, a bit of an overview on all the legalities and terms, nomenclature and things like that. Um, and then they move into the introduction here, talking about the evolution of blockchain and AI and things like that. So in the background here, they basically talk about how existing blockchain contracts can only perform simple smart contract computations and cannot satisfy the application of real world AI. So they also go into talk about uh, Bitcoin's proof of work consensus and things like that. So it is pretty in depth guys, there's a lot here. I can't unfortunately cover this in too much detail because it will take quite a long time. But they do go into a very substantial amount of detail on the project itself. Talking about all the different aspects, so I do recommend coming and having an in-depth read of this if it's something you're looking to purchase. Um, obviously doing your due diligence before you purchase into a project like Cortex. However, it is looking good to me and I do like the fact that there's no ICO in place and they've simply gone into the market and giving people a good chance to involve themselves in some innovative and intuitive technology here. So like I said, it is very, very technical. There's a lot of information in here, a lot of tech specs and that sort of thing. They also go into the token distribution here as well. So you can see a little bit on that. Um, so where the actual coins are sitting, 150 million there, um, 60 million in the investors, and then obviously a fair bit in the project foundation, which includes Cortex Labs and the advisory and all that sort of thing. So definitely go and check that out. Uh, you can see the funds, where they've gone, what they're trying to do with those funds, and how they're basically looking to expand over the years as well. So they talk a little bit about the token issuance here um, and how these Cortex coins will actually be distributed over a certain amount of years. Pretty much working the same way as Bitcoin, how the reward actually halves over a certain period of time to ensure that the supply is not distributed too quickly. Uh, they go into quite a lot of detail here on the team um, and the advisors, so if you do want to see a bit more information there, I do recommend checking that out. Uh, they go into some of the mathematical representations of artificial intelligence on the blockchain. Uh, like I said, very, very technical here. So if you are pretty new to understanding this kind of technology, a lot of this may fly over your head. But if you are a bit of a geek and you do enjoy sort of getting involved in this stuff, I do recommend coming and having a read. Um, like I said, not the most easy to understand and easy to read white paper, unfortunately. However, I'm sure if you do sit down and read this thing in a lot more detail, you will be blown away by the stuff that they're working on. So there is a really good Medium article here as well, which I found by Erica Hugh. So I do recommend checking that out. Uh, they basically simplify Cortex here and talk about why it's one of the most promising projects in 2018 and some of the effects of the ecosystem and these AI systems that they're looking to develop. So it's pretty awesome, guys, and I do look forward to see how Cortex goes. Personally, full disclosure, I'm not invested in Cortex. I don't hold any of these CTXC coins. However, it is pretty cool to see this one starting to come up the charts, and I think it has quite a promising future. So make sure to definitely go and start up to date on the social media channels for Cortex. So you've got Facebook, Twitter, and they have a very, very large following over here on Telegram almost 50,000 members, so that in itself says something. Some reputable people on the team there and in the advisory board as well, so I'm sure they're going to be expanding, continue to develop. Um, I don't think I caught a roadmap in here at all, so maybe that's something to 
consider. Uh, actually, my bad, they did cover it here. So it is a very basic roadmap though. They basically talk about the issuance of the token itself, listing on the exchanges, uh, their testnet for the mining, testnet for the smart AI contracts, and then obviously leading on with their main chain as well as their coin burn. So it's pretty cool, pretty simple. Um, but I think this is a good long-term opportunity and something that's very promising in the future. So let me know your thoughts on Cortex, guys. Let me know if you do hold any, what you're thinking for the rest of 2018, uh, whether Cortex will continue to rise and blossom and whether you think this has real-world application. I'd be interested to know. Um, if you did enjoy this review, please leave me a like, guys, and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. I'm always bringing out new ICO reviews like this, trying to cover the most intuitive and interesting projects for you guys to keep you up to date on what's happening in the cryptocurrency space. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm in love with the cold, cold.